Hello and welcome to Advanced Genetics. So the first thing I wanted to talk about, um, let's make a bit more space here. I've got enough there. This is how we're going to work with Advanced Genetics. Well, Advanced Genetics is a mod that allows um, the player to acquire uh, a huge range of effects. Um, and these effects are acquired from all the different mobs. Okay, and it uses um, sort of scraping skin cells. Um, and yeah, so to scrape uh, skin cells, uh, as you might imagine, you're going to want a. I wonder if I can use. Let me just see if this. Uh, uh, it does, you see. And it even has that on top. So I'm not going to actually be speaking about. Uh, Yeah, the reality is I can just use this um, to to show recipes, so that's kind of handy. So I'll just put a few of these around. All right, so let's start with the um, initial item. So yeah, hmm, I probably won't even use it. Actually, now I think about it. Okay, so this is the initial item you need from Advanced Genetics. As you can see, we need a stone rod, stone stick. Uh, so the ironing is fairly standard. Let's have a look at this. Two pieces of stone, four micro blocks. Or we can use uh, cobblestone or um, and or we can use some of the artifice cobblestone as well. All right, so yeah, and that gives you two sticks. So that makes sense, I guess. You can use a stone tool rod as well from Tinker's Construct. All right, I'm not actually going to do the crafting because crafting is not hugely exciting. Um, I mean, all, I suppose if it's automated, it's pretty much more exciting. Okay, so we've got the scraper. Uh, so let's try, which mob should we try? Um, Let's try a cow first of all. Let's see how we can get along with this. So we'll retrieve a cow, not a tainted cow, just a regular cow, and place the cow down. Here it is. No. Now what's happened to this scraper then, I wonder? It's certainly got damage value. No. 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 Hmm. What are these things? Alright, so we can see that we've got skin scales. Some skin scales of a cow. Alright. Okay. Alright, so that's fair enough. Now let's try the analyzer. So we've extracted the DNA from the cow. And we're going to now try to analyze it. Um, uh, so yeah, I'll just um, I'll leave the cow here. Doesn't seem to like it down here, so we should just kill it. All right. Okay. So yeah. So we've got this analyzer. You notice that all, all, a lot of these blocks have got this nice uh, uh, blue. Um, gradient on it. So let's have a look. We put this in here and of course nothing's going to happen. Let's try the creative energy cell from thermal expansion. As I think sometimes I just wish I would turn this stuff off, the power requirements. Um, wow. Well, <laughs> I think it's a bit too much. Maybe it will be, it'll be nice. It will work better if I'm on a... No, it spaces out regardless in the looks of it. But regardless, it still works, even though the graph, the, um, the, uh, graph is glitching. Okay. So, we put the skin scales in there. <laughs> okay. So, here is what we've got. We've got the cell of a cow, and we've got an organic drop. 
Okay, uh... Oh. Let's go back to recipe mode. Now, let us look. Let me just, uh... Mm, well, I suppose I've not got the, end, got the interface open. It's not going to piss me off too much. Um... This is a good point, isn't it? I could just use the, um, the question mark thing to do it, but um, I don't know. Funnily enough, interesting story is that there's actually the only things that actually work on this are the heart container and the knapsack. Just put the knapsack in. Could do, can they? Put the knapsack on may as well. It's one of those obscure things. It just seems just seems to be sort of almost unknown. But why do you give me ten? So what? It was on. Is that the, that's the full stack size, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I never really need more than about three, so I'll just do three. Um. Uh, 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 mm, 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 mm. Touch screen mode. How do you play touch screen mode? Um, what if I play it? Uh, I don't know. Can you play it with a graphics tablet? <sighs> Might be able to. Um, what was I doing anyway? Um, so I, what I wanted to do, right, is I wanted to first of all check that I'm in recipe mode. And then we've got the main block now. The main block is this. So as you can see, you need four cells and a book. Uh, okay, so basically what happens is, is you get this cell, four cells and a book, hmm. So I guess one thing we could do is to check. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to, so yeah, what does the, is the pig included here? No. There's no pig. Um, let's do sheep then. Okay, I'm actually looking at a large list of what, what the um, the end effects are going to be here. So, yeah. Okay, so... I need a, I need a sheep egg, don't I? Let's, let's uh, get it then, I guess. Um... Is that changing? All right. Let me just get the uh, sheep egg. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I've, this mod does confuse me. <laughs> it looks interesting, but. I'm not sure. Mm, we'll be on to it anyway, soon enough. Um. <sighs> Alrighty then, so... Okay, so we've got some skin scales of a cow and a sheep. Um, when did I do this? Oh, this is probably because the output is far too high here. I guess it's not telling me what it's doing because it's not—it's not losing any energy. Shift it. Yeah, you can shift it. I thought so. Let's not get any power. Well, I guess it's, maybe it's not just. Uh. What? No, whatever. The worst, I really give a shit. 
We're like losing energy there. This side seems alright still. They're not even going to complete it. There's got no energy left, it must have an internal buffer. Um. Alright, so basically, yeah, this is what you do, really. That should be the outputting. There we go. I don't, I don't, I don't know what happens on the bar. I think I could probably use ICT stuff as well. Yeah, I'll do that in a minute. All right. Um, okay, so let's have a let's have a look at what all these things we've got here then. So yeah, this is basically what you do to start off with the whole time. Now we do need to make a, uh, the basic DNA dictionary. Um, so the basic DNA dictionary, what was it, four, so do we need four of the same, I wonder? Let's try these four. Hmm, that wasn't the recipe, was it? I thought it was. Let's have a look what the... All right, so we need a book as well then. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get that. Oh. <laughs> oh gosh. Wow. Well, at least I'm making different mistakes. I should really just get one, actually, shouldn't I? It'd probably be a lot easier just to get one of these things. Let's see if it works. All right, so we can see here. Uh, it doesn't make any difference, basically, what happens here. And we get the basic DNA dictionary. Can we actually read this? Nope, we can't. Okay. Okay. So, what we need to do, we've got the cell here. Um, on a much smaller level, we've also got the... Uh, um, there's obviously the uh, the two strand helix with um, um I didn't want to say it. Damn. Oh man. No, I, I, I yeah. I'm eighty percent on it. Oh man. All right. Anyway, let's use this thing. So um, I probably should. Um, no, I don't know. I, don't, I could just do more dot advanced genetics, but yeah, why should I really? I don't really. I don't really you know, I've done it. I've done it sometimes. I did it in a few first few episodes when I was doing all this stuff. Alrighty then. So yeah, I need an extractor. How many extractors have we got? Probably a million. Got a couple in engineers. Oh, and again. But this is the one we want, of course, DNA extractor. No, and the rotary coil one is very powerful as well. So the extractor, as you can see, is used um, with the basic DNA dictionary, um, regular hopper, regular iron. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to carry on with... Um, I've actually got any left. Skins Girls, Cell of a Cow. I think Cell of a Cow might be the only one I have left that I didn't use in the processes I was just doing. Um, let's just get remove this one. Okay, so the DNA, um, the extractor, is we need to get the helix from the, the cell. So we put the cell in like this. And there's the helix. It's even got 
it's encrypted here it's even got um, um, what do I want to say it's not hash Oh man, I can't even remember. Uh, all right, so we've got encrypted helix. Um, okay, so what we want to do now then is we want to decrypt the helix. For that, we're going to need a very unusually named block, the decryptor. Uh, how we've actually spelled it correctly. I wonder if this is going to be charged as well, no. Okay, so we've got the decryptor here, so we've got our encrypted helix, put the encrypted helix in there. Aha! So this is what we were looking for, you see, because as you can imagine, the cow makes infinite milk, so you can literally right click anything, any entity, and you're going to get infinite milk, which is cool. But yeah, you know what, I think I'm just going to leave it there, actually. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it there. Um, I'm going to be doing the rest of it, uh, and I'm going to start showing this in action. Um, I'm going, to do, I'm going to do more work on this. I wanted to just sort of dip into it first of all. But, yeah. I'm going to do more work and then come back in part two. And I'm going to be talking about all the different, um, all the different genes and talking about how we get from uh, this stage to something that we can actually use. Until then, thanks for watching.